Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Monday, April 24th, 2023. And today I'm going to be talking about COVID and an increased cancer risk. I'll be discussing a research article that was published in the Journal of Medical Virology on April 26th. The title of the paper is Causal Effects of COVID-19 on Cancer Risk, a Mendelian Randomization Study. While this research was done by a group of researchers at the Jian Jiantong University Hospital in China. And they used Mendelian randomization, which is an epidemiological method to assess the potential causal association between exposure and outcomes of a given uh, disease. Now they use big data sets, cancer data sets, genetic data sets, and COVID-19 data sets. And they examine the risks of cancer in three groups, people who were critically ill with COVID, people who were hospitalized with COVID, and people who just tested positive for COVID. Now, what is genetic liabilities? Well, in very simplistic terms, it means the likelihood that a person might be affected by a disorder, in this case, cancer. So what did they find? They found that genetic liabilities for critically ill people with COVID were linked with the increased risk for five cancers, HER2 positive breast cancer, esophageal cancer, colorectal cancer, stomach and colon cancer. Now the genetic liabilities of hospitalized COVID group were linked with the increased risk for three cancers, HER2 positive, breast cancer, esophageal cancer, and stomach cancer. And the genetic liabilities of people who had infections but weren't critically ill or hospitalized were linked with the increased risk of stomach cancer. Now it's worth noting that all three groups of COVID-19 exposures were associated with the increased risk of stomach cancer. Now, why could that be? Well, the authors proposed that we already know that there's long-term replication in the SARS of the SARS-CoV-2 virus in the gastrointestinal tract, and that there are many receptors for the ACE2 uh, receptor, which the spike protein of the virus attaches to, to enter into the cell. And it's widely expressed in certain cell types of the stomach. So that provides a possible association that's real. So the authors note the limitations to their research were first, their findings were primarily based on people of European descent. So if you're non-European, in my opinion, this uh, study may not be applicable to you. And they also um, assessed only genetic liability to COVID-19 and cancer. And there are many other confounding risks, including smoking, uh, diet, sedentary lifestyle, gender, age, et cetera, which might uh, contribute to that. So I think the real uh, finding from this paper, this is just my opinion, folks, is that there could be a link to stomach cancer and COVID-19. Now, time will tell. With almost 60% of Americans, according to the CDC, who have had uh, C uh, COVID-19, if there is a increased risk to stomach cancer associated with COVID infection, we will find out what happens in the real world over time. I do think this study adds to the growing body of knowledge of some of the latter effects of COVID-19 infection. It supports the findings that folks COVID is not the same as the flu and avoiding COVID infection and COVID reinfection multiple times if possible is desirable for long-term health. That's my message today. Be careful, take care folks. I'll include the link to the study in my comments.